Welcome back to DevOps Camp. This is the next video of the Linux Essentials video series. In today's video, we'll walk you through the process of installing VirtualBox guest editions. In the previous video, we have came across graphical issues such as, the virtual machine not maximizing to full screen. The solution for this is, to install the guest editions. Usually, they come along with the VirtualBox installation. So, what we need to do is, to mount the installation ISO image, and start installing it by running the installation script. First, we need to open Oracle VirtualBox, and start the CentOS virtual machine installed in the previous video. Once the VM has booted up, we need to open up a terminal. In the terminal, first change to the root user by entering the command sudo i. When prompted, enter the root password. Remember, you won't see the password typing in the screen. This is a security feature of Linux. After typing the root password, press enter. Next, we have to update base CentOS repositories. For that, run the command yum update y. y option is used to accept any prompts automatically. Yum is the package manager for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Next, let's clear the terminal by running the command, clear. Next, we need to install some packages which are required for the guest editions installation. For that run the command, yum install gcc, kernel devil, kernel headers, make, bzip2, Perl. Next, let's clear the terminal by running the command, clear. For the changes to take place, we need to reboot the VM. Run the command, reboot, in the terminal. After rebooting, we have to mount the guest edition's ISO image, to run the installer. For that, click devices in the virtual machine menu and, Select Insert Guest Edition CD Image. In the prompt, select Run, and the installation will begin. Press Enter key to finish. For the changes to take place, we need to reboot the VM. After rebooting, log on to the VM. Next, to enable the full screen, click View in the Virtual Machine menu and select Auto Resize Guest Display. Now, the graphical and performance issues are gone. This will be the end of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get future updates. Next video will be on, connecting to Linux virtual machine using SSH remotely, by password authentication method. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.